Everybody has heard about Stonehenge. However, very few people know that um, there is very little left of the original ancient monument, if anything at all. Although the ongoing um, rebuilding, systematic rebuilding of Stonehenge was not uh, done uh, in secret, it was uh, well known to the public at the time it was uh, done. As the time went on, um, this information was uh, not uh, mentioned in the mass media and um, people who were not local simply never came across it. In more recent time, a hacker penetrated the uh, archives of uh, the United Kingdom and uh, gradually people started uh, becoming aware that um, the monument uh, is uh, not in a pristine condition and barely anything is in place from ancient time. So all this uh, calculation of the sun shining through a particular stone at a special day are just a waste of time. Currently the British authorities uh, do not deny at all that uh, the monument has uh, been thoroughly rebuilt uh, lately and they even uh, mention that it would be a good idea to include this information in the official audio guide that um, people uh, put on their headphones and uh, can hear when visiting the monument. Well, I wonder if they have uh, done that already or not. My guess would be not yet. Actually, some researchers uh, even doubt that um, the sto uh, Stonehenge was not rebuilt, but uh, actually built and created very recently. I don't know if that is true, but this version also exists. Basically, it is considered that, that uh, there are historic uh, records of it, at least for the last uh, 300 years or so. So, basically, it should be at least that old. Some say Newton built it. Anyway, it's a long story. Uh, but nothing is excluded. Uh, I will be making more videos on uh, the amazing amount of forged historic um, records on which the history that is being taught in schools is built so um, everything is possible but regardless the uh, historical time when the monument was first created a big question remains what is it made of uh, at the moment you see a photo of one of the stones where below the geopolymer granite covering uh, concrete shows up. I like very much what the researcher said regarding this. He said, I have a dream. I really want to go and bow down at Stonehenge and uh, really uh, bow my head below a big stone, the one with the, the concrete and then I slowly take a few crumbles of uh, the concrete and uh, the, uh, then test them in my laboratory and find out which brand of cement has been used because different brands have different composition and in that way uh, we'll get um, a, an approximate uh, time frame which will tell us when uh, the monument was built. Well, he will have to, get, to go and visit only on special days because uh, usually Stonehenge is um, not uh, available to be seen from nearby. One can just uh, pay, maybe that's the main thing uh, after all about all this monument, pay and then see it from far away. And that's where it all ends. Well, I personally have no opinion uh, about when Stonehenge it was built. And it doesn't matter is its antiquity uh, forged or just its importance is exaggerated. However, uh, the main point here is uh, that it is made uh, world famous by the mass media. Why? Because 
there should be something uh, to present to the people that we will confirm the version of history that is being preached to them at school and distract their attention from uh, the real and genuine and absolutely amazing megalithic sites that are all over the world.